yo, I feel like the schedule of bus and shit. I get to work and shit. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna, do, I, I'm gonna get home by any means, bro. Hell uh, yeah. And I know it's probably big out there where you at, so that should be a hassle. Oh yeah. Nah, but it's like uh it's like a little mini bus. You know, crazy. Oh word. Yeah, it's a little mini bus, nothing crazy. Yeah. But um Damn. Shit, what? But um shit, man. Shit. Question. I'm good with it. Is it easy? Is it easy to die than to live? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I think uh, living is hard as fuck. It's a lot to keep up with and maintain, especially if you want to be happy. Facts. 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 Real yeah. talk, bro. It's hell, for every- it's hell for everybody, bro. Nah, for real. It really is. But I honestly feel like, you know, life is what you make it, though. You know, um, you can always change your situation. You just got to have faith and believe. Facts. True to the yeah. people, true to the people, power to the people. Not saying real talk. But um what are some things? Um what are some things you have learned from like your mom? Just, just being around your mom in general, like what's some things you have you learned from your mother? Uh work ethic, man. My mom is working, boy. Work ethic and discipline, bro. Like, I learned a lot from my mom. Like, but one of the main things I would say is probably the work ethic. Like, she go to work. She she handled her business. And she always provided for her kids despite how she felt. You know, she it'd be days where she ain't feel like doing shit. But, you know, she still went and provided for her kids and handled business. So, growing up seeing that, 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 that definitely, you know, put a spark in me as well. Because it's like, you know, when you see your mom working, that shit do something to you. It's like, you got to... You see that like, shit, you want to change this shit, like, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, get you in that mode, like, I got to do some shit. Yeah, get you, man. get you in that mode, for real, bro, like, real tall. It just gets you, it just gets, it gets, it, it, it gets you mad, too, as well, too. Like, yeah. shit pisses you off. Like, I feel you. Yeah, so that I think that's probably the biggest thing is, like, worth ethic and discipline, man. Consistency too, consistent too as yeah. well. That's good though. That's some good things that you learn from your mom and shit like that. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's good, bro. Um, how does like your mom feels about like the path like you you have chosen? Um, I mean, of course she don't agree with it. She wanted me to finish school and all types <laughs> of shit. But you know, um, I think I'm at the point now where I'm like, you know, I'm a grown man. I'm a, I'm gonna make my own choices and do what I feel is right mm-hmm. for my, you know. And that's and that's something that like a lot of people don't understand. Like you know, a lot of people think being an entrepreneur and all that shit is cool, but they don't understand the other side that come with this lifestyle of choosing you and betting on yourself. Yeah, if that make any sense? Like when you choosing a, a lifestyle of like like when you going against what's normal. You're going to lose a lot of friends, your family. You're going to lose a lot of family. You're going to have people criticizing you. You're going to have people fear mongering you, like telling you like, oh, you know, uh, you know, like basically trying to put fear in you so you don't take that path. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But me, I believe in myself. I got faith in myself and I already proved to myself that I can be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like once you prove to yourself that you can do something, mm-hmm. the sky's the limit, bro. You know? And, um. I'm betting on myself, man. I'm choosing me. You know, we only got one life. Why would I spend Facts. my one life doing some shit I don't want to do or working a job I don't want to work or I'm not doing that. I didn't see my family do that shit for years on end. Somebody in the family got to be like, you know what? I'm going to take on every sacrifice. Facts. You know what I mean? And what and that's the side that nobody talk about when it comes to chasing your dreams. When when you chase your dreams, your mom ain't gonna like you gonna you gonna clash heads with your mom sometime because they, she's not gonna understand your path or what you're trying to do. You understand mm-hmm. it, but she's not understanding it. Now, mm-hmm. Most people ain't gonna understand it until you get successful and actually and they actually right. see the shit that you was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it be hard sometimes trying to get people to understand your path, <laughs> yeah. but not everybody gonna understand your path. Like, see, we we different people, you know, we we're not average. Mm-hmm. So the fact that we're not average, we're gonna go through things that average people don't go through. 
average people don't chase their dreams and accomplish things because they they do shit that they don't want to do. They spend their one life doing what society told them to do: graduate and get a job and go to college and you know, fuck that, bro. I'm gonna be my own motherfucking boss. I'm not tending to nobody. I'm gonna be my Thanks. own boss. I'm gonna call my own shots. I'm gonna wake up when I want to wake up. I'm gonna buy whatever the fuck I want to buy. I'm gonna fly Thanks. wherever the fuck I want to fly. <laughs> I'm gonna buy my family houses and I'm gonna do everything I dreamed on doing. And anybody that Facts. feels as though, anybody that feel, you can still hear me, bro. Mm -hmm. Anybody that feel as though that my dreams is too big or they too uh, you know, they too you know wide for a motherfucker to understand. Then cool, mm -hmm. you average so you wouldn't understand. You know what I'm saying? People be trying to make you feel bad for for dreaming big. Mm -hmm. Like fuck out of here! I'm a dream big. <laughs> and I'm gonna accomplish everything. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I hate when people do because people be small-minded, bro. Facts. And like, bro, I, I feel because like they don't understand too. You could be like the the one for real. Like you could be, bro. You could be like the 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 star, nigga. Like there's always, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. There's always that one child from the rest of the children. They could be the star, nigga. Right. Like you could be the boss, nigga. You could be your own boss. You could be the one. Putting your putting your family in a position to help them out, you know, with anything they need. You could be a rich nigga. You could be the rich nigga. Mm -hmm. But what well, comes with that, right? What comes with being that rich guy is not caring about other people's opinions yep. and staying focused on the path and trusting in your path, bro. That's what I learned being on this journey. Like people is not gonna understand you, bro. Why? Because they're average and they think small. And people that is average. They they don't they can't fathom or understand the journey of chasing your dream because they never fucking did it. So that's why when average people see people that are chasing their dream, they always like to fear monger you and make you feel like you dreaming too big or the dream mm -hmm. that you got is unrealistic. Like just that thought alone just shows that a person Facts. is average. There's no such thing as an unrealistic dream. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's either you a dreamer or you're not a dreamer. It's either you average or you a winner. It's either you're a loser or a winner. Losers think small. They keep themselves in a box. They limit themselves to a job and they limit mm -hmm. themselves to the normal, no, like the society norm. I'm not that. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not average and I'm not settling for less. Facts. Hit them with the, hit them with the free chick. Get them. Get that's em. just how it's going to go. And you're going to notice that, bro. That, that's how it's going to go. That's why we, Facts. like people that ain't average, we got to surround ourselves around winners, people that got big dreams, people that want to be on yachts and shit and want to get a lot of motherfucking money. And that's the type of people we need to surround ourselves by, not people that just limiting themselves to one little box. Facts. Facts. Because that's true. That's truth right there. Because I've heard a teacher say, oh, that's unrealistic. You need to pick something. And in my head, that always pissed me off because like, bro, I can be way, 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 way something way greater than just working a job. Like when I heard teachers say that shit, I'm like, yo, y'all niggas bugging. I don't know how to I don't know how y'all niggas live like this. Right. But certain people, like me and you, like the way we constantly, you know, connect, we grind, we we, we shine. I feel yeah. like me and you and the other people that's trying to make it do this shit. We refuse. I feel like some of us we not built. So certain people are just not built for the, the, the for society. I don't think we're built for society. Certain people they're not not built for the shit. Yeah. The new the norm work working the nine five constantly and I don't know how people live like that. I can't. Crazy, me, I, right? I, I refuse it. I refuse to be mistreated. I refuse. If I cannot get the same treatment as the man in charge, I'm right. getting mistreated. I don't want to work for you. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to be on Earth, period. <laughs> like, real talk, like, on some real pox shit, like, if I can't live a good life, a decent life, bro, I can't choose the path I want to go, what the fuck is the point even, you know what I'm saying? What's but the point you, you even could the, You could choose the path you want to go. That's the thing. Who, Facts. Who feel, why, how come you feel like, is that how you feel? Me, man. Like is that is that is that what you think about life? Like, do you feel like you can choose the path you want to choose? Hell yeah, I can choose. Yeah, yeah. Hell uh, yeah. yeah. So as, as long as you know that, you good. Like life is what you make it, man. You can wake up one morning and decide to be a different man. Facts. All it takes is that one little switch. Hell yeah. 
That's facts, though. Preach, preach to the people, bro. Everybody, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do in this life. And that's nothing that be pissing me off, too. You tell, how you go tell somebody? You hear from parents, too. You hear from uh, teachers as well. You could be anything you want to be, but try to make you be something that you not, that you don't want to be. You don't agree to. Like, make it make sense. Yeah. Yeah, people, people, people are, are small minded, man. And that, you know, that's that's just what come with the territory of being successful, you know. Um, that's just what it is. Like even in the book, right? Uh Think and Grow Rich, 48 Laws mm-hmm. of Power, they speak on what they call drifters. It's it's a, it's a word that they use, a term that they use called drifter. And it's basically people that just drift through life and they, you know, they do the normal shit, right? You're never going to be successful though like that. You know what I mean? Never. That's a lifestyle that would just keep you stuck. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, though, I've always been like this since I was a kid. That's why I never fit in with nobody. Since I was a kid, I always thought different. I always was in the shit. Like, I was always, like, uh, trying to find ways to blow up on, on, like, the internet, whether that was YouTube or just doing more right. goofy shit. Like, I've always been this way, man. And nobody... Like the whole time I've been on this journey, nobody understood. Me. That's why I always been single. That's why I never had friends. Like the friends I do got now is friends that I've been, you know, friends with since I was a kid. Like literally, you know what I mean. So <laughs> it's, it's 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 a tough journey, man. You know, it's it's a really tough journey. Sometimes you do get in modes where you want people to understand you, and sometimes you do get in modes where you you want to relate to people. Like it'd be sometimes right. where I'd be accomplishing things or I'm turning my shit down. My fault. That's why I'm. Uh, it'd be sometimes where I'd be accomplishing things, or I'd be doing certain things, or I came up with a big idea or something like that, and I ain't got nobody to talk to about it because they don't understand. And if I do tell them about it, it's like you know they're not really going to give you a one sided answer, or they might yeah, give you a dry they answer. Act like they give a fuck, but really they yeah. don't give a fuck because they don't understand. You know, like what makes me happy, they might look at like what the fuck, like. So yeah, that's 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 how that goes, you know. Facts, facts. Yeah, man. Most people just don't understand at all, dog. They don't understand the the hustle or nothing like that. They don't understand the dedication. You like you dedicate your life to this shit. Real talk, once you man. start, you can't go back, nigga. You gotta once keep you going. Start, you can't go back. You can't go back because niggas be like, yo, I want such I want I want this amount of you know. Fan base, but you stuck in the same fan base, but you're not doing nothing about it. Come on now, exactly. you can't, you can't stay stuck, bro. I posted like two shorts, everything's got ske- yo, J Rock, real talk, like on some real talk shit. I got everything scheduled all the way through April, all the way through March, all the way through February. All the shorts are scheduled. I hit a thousand and another thousand. With the shorts, I woke up in the morning. Two my two my shorts was at a thousand. That's dedication, nigga. That's dedication, bro. You might I ain't quitting this shit. And I, you gotta, I was you gotta love this shit, shit man. This this is this is what come with the journey, and you gonna have ups and downs through this shit. Like, you know, that's that's what I want you to understand too. You you gonna have ups and downs. Bad Everything people. ain't gonna be gravy yep. in this shit, bro. Yeah, there's gonna be times you want to give up. I, but I, that's I, the I beautiful part story. about the journey, though. That's the part that a lot of people overlook when it comes to chasing your dreams. Like it might seem like hell when you're going through it, but it's a beautiful journey because it's teaching you resistance. It's teaching you to keep going when things ain't going your way. Everything ain't gonna go your way. Sometimes you might spend a month on YouTube posting videos and the shit not gonna go nowhere. I've been there before. Before I hit a hundred thousand subscribers, it took me years to even get fucking two thousand subscribers. Damn. And when I hit my first, yes, like when I hit my first thousand, I felt good as fuck. So like people, that's that's what makes this journey beautiful, bro. The the downs in this shit, like the the times where you keep pushing, knowing you 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 discouraged and you demotivated, but you still going, you still pushing, you still wake up every day and you show the fuck up. That's what really matters. You know what I'm saying? Just like what I said with the gym. It be days where I be sore and I don't get enough rest. It be days where I don't really, I run out of healthy food, but I still go to the gym. I still show up. You always going to get the results at the end of the day. Like you always going to get the last laugh, bro, at the end of the day. It might not seem like your life going forward, but it really is. You 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 getting 
tested. And sometimes God got to test you before he give you the blessing. Because a lot of people ask for blessings, but they not they don't know how to handle it when they get it. So God got to put you through God got to put you through certain tests to see if you really worthy of the things you are asking for. And, you know, that's what come with this shit. You got to be a savage. Every day you got to wake up. You got to think of your dreams. Even when them bitches ain't working out, you got to still keep pushing. Because like I told you, all it takes is that one video. Facts. All it takes is that one video and your ass out of here. Facts. Real talk. Real talk. Power yeah. to the people. Real talk. Facts. True to the people. Um... Have your mother ever gave you any advice to like uh, keep you motivated or anything? Oh, like on like um like as far as like what I do? Yeah. Nah, bro. I told you, but nobody understand this shit but me. Mm. Nobody, yeah. even my mama. Like I remember when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers, I showed my mom. She ain't know what the fuck that shit was. <laughs> she like, what the fuck is that? I don't like, understand you know, it. No, she no didn't even. <laughs> I showed her that shit. I'm like, yo, I hit a hundred thousand. I'm all hype. She like, no, hmm. you know what it is though, because like she probably don't understand the internet. She yeah, that's what I'm saying. She don't understand. Like she don't understand. I was hyped to tell her. Like that was like <laughs> the only person I really wanted to show. Like I'm like, yo, like check this out. Like what yeah, I'm doing different. is working. She just gave me a. Uh, I ain't like the response I got when I when I showed her that. So ever since then, I ain't never really like. I don't really speak on what I'm doing or, you know. Yeah, keep that shit to yourself, bro. Yeah. You, you, you niggas don't even know. Um, what is what is what is a favorite meal your mom have, your mom has cooked when you was like younger or adulthood adulthood? Uh, shit, probably like lasagna or something. I used to love that shit as a kid. Yeah. Lasagna <laughs> be busting spaghetti, yeah. pasta. My mom made some pasta. So we were busting. Yeah, I used to fuck with that shit as a kid. <laughs> oh, what what's your personal thoughts on people who don't take charge in in situations? As on what? As a say for example, smile leaves. Let's say for example, I'm making some shit. Say for example, I leave a rag. I might forgot something, right? I might forgot to put something somewhere. I might left it there, right? Uh-huh. And somebody calls me and say, "Yo, you left the rag." You know, on a, on 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 a sink or some shit, and they see this shit, but they don't do nothing. They don't take charge of the situation. <laughs> Man, I don't even fucking know. Like I don't know. <laughs> <That's fucking> crazy. <laughs> As if we give you tight. Every day you do that shit. They go and take charge. And you supposed yeah, to take yeah. initiative, bro. Take initiative, bro. Yeah, Facts. shit like that be wild. Facts. Facts. Um, how you feel when people judge other people for having tattoos and shit? Um, I think that's bullshit. I mean, that that's like that ain't nothing to judge nobody on. I mean, it's a preference. Facts. You know, some people got tattoos, some people don't. I don't think it's right for people to talk shit about it. Though. I mean, it's like a preference. Facts. And they be acting like be killing, killing them with it. Like, nigga, I'm not killing you. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this. I, I can take, I can take all these tattoos with me when I die, nigga. So like. You, 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 I can't take nothing else with me. It's on me. <laughs> they gonna fade away anyway. <laughs> That's it. So, um, I remember when you were talking about, you know, the, the belief of like heaven and hell. But I never got a chance to ask you. What, what is your definition of heaven? Um, to be honest. I don't even think I don't even know, bro. To be honest, like I'm, I kind of like grew out of the whole like trying to like think about stuff that I like. I'm just, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I'm just living, trying to be better day by day. I believe uh-huh. in the Most High, but I haven't died, so I can't tell nobody where where heaven is like. All I can do is believe. I believe in the Most High. I believe there's something after this, but I can't say. Facts. I Facts. feel like life. I feel like this life makes too much sense for it to not be something after this, you know. Damn, damn. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I right, if you was if you if you could choose a one video game to live in, 
What would it be? Shit, probably like Grand Theft Auto or some shit. Uh, <laughs> yo. Yeah, probably yo, like why, Grand Theft Auto. Why Grand, why Grand Theft Auto? Because I can do like cheat codes and do whatever the fuck I want. Can steal yeah. shit, put a cheat code in. <laughs> and get the fuck up out of there. Papa Chico, Papa Chico. Right. All right. All right. What what video game would you choose to play forever? Mm, probably like Fight Night Champion or Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah. Fight Night. That's my game right there. I love it. That's my game. Love it. Whooping ass online. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know anything about like your mom, how she was like before, like you was born. Like, has she ever told you stories about her, like life story, anything? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of it. Mm. Um, she ain't have a, a good upbringing like how I did, though. Like, she actually went through a few things growing up, like not having her dad and things like that. So, shit. Yeah. So she used that to be great for us and shit like that. Which I respect. That's probably, you, that's, probably that's that's probably definitely why you the way you are too, but not having a dad as well. Yeah, for sure. That shit that shit strengthens you though. It, it can either like it can either like um bring you down or strengthen strengthen you depending on your perspective on it. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Uh. Is knowledge a gift and a curse? Why or why not? Um, I would say it's, it's both because like it's a gift, but it's also a curse because people look down on upon people that got knowledge or like if you got too much knowledge, or, depending on what you're doing with the knowledge, it can be a curse. I'm going to say that. You know, if you out here trying to pit people on game on certain things that, you know, the elites and the higher power don't like, then it could be a curse because having knowledge is a threat in today's society you know everybody's dumb as fuck and they parade being dumb as fuck and they <laughs> cheer on the dumb shit and that's the reason why a lot of dumb shit is even going on because people cheer on the dumb shit so yeah i would say to have a knowledge is a curse depending on what you're doing with it thanks it could sometimes put you in that mode too like it could sometimes get you in that mode where you just pissed off you like it's like when you know so much about the world bro we gotta maintain that shit. Right. Like for example, every day I go to work, I'm just fucking pissed off because like I already know the truth about this about, about these corporations and shit. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, hit, oh, 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 hit you. Oh, it hits me. I'm like, yo, I got, I got to think positive, man. I got to chill. Real shit, bro. For real, for real. Like that shit will, man. That will have you tripping. <laughs> you ain't even lying. For real, man. Shoot, man. What can we expect? Cause we waiting on something from you, nigga. We waiting on some music. What Honestly, can we bro, I'm glad you even said that. I'm finna, I'm finna. I think I might like write some shit tonight or something, or if not tonight, probably tomorrow, because I um I got my studio and shit hooked up. So I Bet. think I want to get back into writing. Though. I want to write like some more like meaningful music, like kind of switch it up a little bit, get back to my to my writing vibes or whatever. I think that's that's one of the biggest things of my goal is to like be more creative, you know, not just in music, but just in life in general. Like just be more creative, come up with you know more ideas, and you know be more like business savvy. Like I'm, I'm that's 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 one of my goals. That's good. But what what can we expect from like your next project when you, that you got kind of got planned, but not planned right now? Uh, growth, man. I'm finna start talking my shit, speaking on stuff. Cause I went through a lot of shit recently, man. Like uh this past year, I done went through a lot of shit and just grew a lot, just like mentally. So I feel like I got a lot more to speak about. Okay. And I want to speak on like the world shit that's going on out here and just my like opinions on certain things. And I feel like that. Mm -hmm. That's good, man. You got a lot of that shit out anyway. A lot of people use, use their uh, voice voice for music, let their pain out, right? Let the world know that know they pain, and that's a powerful thing about music. You actually use your voice and let niggas know what you went through, type shit. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. 
Shoot. Um, what what was one of the best moments of like in your life where you felt like most motivated? Uh, I don't even know to be honest. Like that should be coming and going for me. I don't stay motivated for long, believe it or not. Cause it's a it, it's it's a temporary, uh, it's a temporary thing too. Yeah, like it's really temporary. I'm motivated now though. I've been motivated like a motherfucker recently. <laughs> I've been on my like my my channel heavy and shit, just posting content, just flooding it. Keep going, bro. I'm watching. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you be have me dying laughing. You be saying certain shit in your vids. <laughs> Word. Oh. All right, it's gonna be a funny ass question. If you didn't know your age, right? How yeah. old you? If you didn't know your age, how old you think you'd be? Shit, 21, <laughs> 22. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think I look my age. Okay. Some, some people say I even look older than that. What age range? Um, like 25, some shit. I ain't got facial hair or nothing like that. So that's what kind of that's what's keeping me looking real, real young. <laughs> I ain't got no facial hair. I be trying to grow that shit, bro, but I don't even know. Maybe, maybe. Some sometime there, bro. Uh, I be growing like little shit though, like a little bit of right, I, mean, I got I got a little hair. I ain't never know yeah. what I but gotta get some supplements or something. Something I don't even know to be honest. I don't I never tried like the supplement shit though. Like I've tried like black seed oil in the past, yeah. but I ain't never tried like like the beard stuff people be using, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I ain't never really got into that. So I don't know. Maybe that's maybe I should. Yeah, give it a, yeah, give it a shot, bro. Um, what are, you, what are your thoughts on um memories? What are the good benefits, the good benefits, and the bad? The memories, yeah, memories. What are your thoughts on memories? I think memories are great. I mean, that's the only thing that's that you got in this world is your brain and your memories, and the, the, the memories you've made with folks. I mean, of course, you can have some bad memories depending on the trauma and experience that you went through in life. But, you know, uh, I feel like with time comes healing. And when you when you heal, you slowly start to forget about it or not forget about it. But it don't affect you as much as when it happened recently. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I feel like it's, it's I feel like it's, it's it's a good and bad thing, you know, but it's also a great thing. Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing now too as well yeah life is like i told you life is all about perspective bro it's all about perspective life is the older i get the more i'm learning that life is all about you can really have an easy time in this life depending on how you think about things mm -hmm. that's what people fail to realize it's all about your mindset like we live up here 24 7. you can either have a bad mind or a negative mind or you can have a positive mind you can either allow negative things to affect you or allow negative things to, to motivate you. It's all about how you think. You know what I'm saying? If you allow mm -hmm. certain things to get to you or if you allow certain shit that happens to you or whatever to affect you, then you're going to be really stressed out, you know? And I'm, I'm starting to really learn to just, like, take things as it come, be more patient with myself and others, um, be more patient just in general when it comes to my dreams. And I'm really starting to work on things up here because when you work on things up here and when you work on the interior, then the exterior and everything else on the outside is going to come as it, as it goes. You ain't even got to work too much for it because your mind, right? That's how a lot of attraction really works. Once you boost your frequency and work on, if you do that inner work, that's when the outer work will start happening for you. But it all starts in here. Facts. That's where that's that's where it all starts. Life is all about perspective. Like for example, you can go to work one day and have a bad day. Maybe the people at work are probably pissing you off, blowing you, making you mad as fuck. <laughs> you can choose to allow that to affect you, or you can use that and be like, you know what? I'm not gonna let these motherfuckers be my motherfucker. <laughs> that's gonna motivate me more to go home, create Facts. more content, so I ain't gotta work a day in my motherfucking life. 
you see how that you see the, the the difference between thought process now you got some people you got some people that go through shit like that and then they fuck i, I gotta i gotta do this fuck man woo, woo. i can't keep doing this woo, woo. And then you got some people that's like you know what it is what it is i'm finna pop my shit pretty soon i ain't gonna be in here anyway you know what i mean facts it's all perspective, bro. It's all it's all it's all decision making, man. It's like all, a it's all perspective. Like, word. That's your F you up, buddy. World talk. Yo, what is a dream, right? Where you woke up and had a had a what the fuck moment. Damn. Like you, like yeah, like you ever had like what what is what what is I had, what, man? I had some no, I had one dream one time right where I was running from the police and shit, and um uh, they had the helicopters on my ass and all type of shit. And I don't know what the fuck I did. I woke up like what the hell? That was definitely a what the fuck moment. I be having some goofy dreams, shit that don't even be making sense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I be having some funny ass dreams. Nah, I had crazy dreams though. I had dream, yo. I be having, I had, I had death dream, bro. I had like two death. I, I had a few death dreams, bro. I had a dream where like I was going to a party, like I was going, I was going to a club. I, yeah. I, I think I was a um, I think I was a, I was a, I think I was, I was a um producer, and I owe my own. I had my artists with me, whatever. I had a lot of artists. And like I kind of got bored. As soon as I got, I kind of got bored and shit. So like, I went to the bathroom and stuff like that. They were like, they was like, I came out, whatever. They was like, you want to drink? I'm like, nah. I'm like, I don't drink, whatever, right? right. So I go, I, I, I come out the, I come out the club. I'm going to the club. I'm, I'm going to the club and shit, going up steps. You know how everything just quiet. <laughs> no, I know how everything just, 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 just quiet in general. You just see cars and that's it. Yeah. It's just you. I walk up to my car. Dudes run. I go to my dude runs up on me in a black ski mask. I had a beautiful car too. Nigga ran up on me and shot me. I woke up. I woke up. I was like, "Yo!" I said, "Am I?" I woke up. I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Why would you do that? Like, why would he do that?" <laughs> like, nah, it was wild. so weird, yo. Shot. Probably was jealousy, man. That's some wild shit right there. I, mean, I, have, I have some crazy dreams these days, bro. I had a dream I was walking by myself and in the dark, I had my headphones on. I was looking down my phone, and I look up. This man, some figure was a figure. Mind <laughs> you, it's pitch black. <laughs> it's pitch black. Dude, that nigga run, be going some shit. <laughs> dude runs up on me. Dude runs up on me. He picks me up, body slams me, and then the nigga runs off. I wake up like, what are you, what are you doing that to me for? <laughs> I didn't even do nothing to you. Word. I have I be having some wild dreams, man. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I was younger. This is when I was younger too, bro. Hey, that shit wild. Wild dreams, y'all. Blasted. <laughs> Damn, man. Are words like for emotions? A word for emotions made up or has always been like in the human DNA? You said a say that again. Emotions. You like said words a, like words for emotions. Like are they made up or has always been in the human, you know, DNA? Like you got words like sad, you got words like um happy, those those words that are emotions. Right. But all those words, all those words made up. No, they're, they're real, they're real feelings. Real feelings? Yeah, like this, it's like um that's that's just what we call the different phases of emotions we go through. That's all that is. Yeah, they 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 real feeling. Mm. Why you think something otherwise? I don't. I, I think it would just come naturally. Yeah, I think I, I would think it would just it's natural for us to just 
have different ways of showing our emotions. Right. Yeah, I think I, I, just find, they, uh, I think they were real fellas. I, I just find them interesting. I just find it interesting. Um, I if you, if you if you was to get a pet, right? I don't know if you ever want one, but if you want a pet, what do you prefer, a cat or dog? Uh, I love cats, bro. I grew up on cats. I had a cat. Um. I had a cat for like fucking 10 years, man. Then she passed away and shit. Ever since then, I ain't never get a, another pet. Damn. But I, I like cats. But I, I would get a dog, though. If I was to get a dog, I'd probably get like a golden doodle. I love golden doodles. I'm not really big on like pit bulls and all that extra shit. I like like family dogs. Chill like maybe one, like, right? a, like a German Shepherd, maybe. Or maybe like a golden doodle. or I, I, Yeah, or like a German... What I say, a German Shepherd. Yeah, it's German another Shepherd. one. Uh, it's another one I like. The Golden Doodle, German Shepherd, um, and a oh, Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever. Yeah, I, I I like family dogs and shit like, like that. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah I'm rock. I rock with. I rock with both though. I rock with cats and dogs. I want yeah, me. I want me. Why, uh, I don't know why cats be getting like a bad rep. A lot of people don't. Facts. They be on a bull, bro. <laughs> but I don't love them though. I be seeing yo. I, I mean, I be seeing um street cats in my block. Yeah. I don't I know seeing, why nah, I be seeing them dead though. That's a sad. But I be seeing they ran yeah. over. I be seeing dead. I seen a dead corpse. A, a dead uh corpse of a cat. The sitting on the side of the road. No, no. I say it was on the side of like the sidewalk. The sitting and dead. What I see hell? so many. I, I've seen so many dead cats around here, man. I'm like, damn. I see. I see a baby cat just sitting there crying. I see. I see so. I see so many cats around here, man. I love. It. I be feel. I be feeling bad, man. I do, man. Yeah, that's some wild shit. <laughs> but I acknowledge they y'all. Uh, I acknowledge they pain though. Like, I'm, I acknowledge animal pain and what they go through and shit. Nah, animals got some crazy lives, man. Facts. Facts. True to the people. Um, do you think our dreams have deeper meaning? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think um I think a lot of your dreams tell you something if you if you like pay attention to them, depending on the dream you have them. Because mm -hmm. there's been times that I had certain dreams and it kind of like a line with something that went down in my life or whatever. So I feel like they tell you something, depending on. But then I also think you'd be having like a, some weird dreams too, though, that don't be making no fucking sense. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever um, heard somebody say like, they? have you ever heard, I don't know, this happened to me recently. My mom was asleep. And she was like, she was like, she was like, did you call me? I was like, I was like, no. I, I don't know how you call. I, I must be dreaming. So like she, she thought I heard. She thought I was calling her name. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I'm like, yeah. Um, I didn't call you, ma. <laughs> I didn't call you. Must be hallucinating or something. What? Dreaming type shit. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go back in my room. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Know. That should be happening. That that should be happening to people though. That should be happening to people. Real talk. Um, have you ever been on a date? Yeah, I've been on a few dates before. Yo, <laughs> yo, behind the ball. What up? I've been working with this nigga too. Behind the ball, Robbie Sticker Savage. Vax. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nigga funny as hell. Vax. But um, you been on a date? Yeah, I've been on a few. What what was it like the experience for you? Uh, I had a few good experiences and bad experiences. I uh, we we want the good and bad. Break it down. Shit, I didn't had a few days where like a motherfucker just be sitting on a phone and shit. Uh, like, like when I go on dates and all that shit, I kind of like I kind of like to really like I like to test people. Cause like my my definition of a date ain't like the norm. Like I'd like to do like little shit, like maybe like a picnic date or go out in nature, go walk in Yo, nature. Just like my that. definitions of dates is different. 
So that's how I kind of get to know a person by just how they react to when I ask them to go to like a nature date or a picnic date or something like that ain't the norm. Because me personally, I'm going to be honest, I'm a cheap motherfucker. Okay. But I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap when it comes to if I like you. Like if I like you, I'm going to spend some money. But if we don't know each other, I'm cheap as fuck and you ain't getting no money out of me. <laughs> so the first the first two, three dates going to be free. And then I might take you out to eat and go somewhere where we spend money if I feel your vibe and I like it. But the first date definitely going to be maybe a nature date of us walking somewhere in nature. And if the bitch says corny, then that ain't the girl I'm supposed to be with. I like I like females that just like to like be with you and be in your presence and pick your mind and get to know you. I don't like a female that feel like I got to spend money or I don't like I don't like that shit. I don't like a female that that's like demanding. Oh, you got to take me out and you got to do this. And why I got to do that? You know, I feel like a good woman. that really like you and fuck with you. She ain't going to mind going out to going out to eat or going somewhere that's cheap or going to a nature date, maybe going on a library date. Those are dates to me. No, I consider those dates. Facts. They don't take much to make me happy. All I got to do is go go to the park with a, with a female and just go have a conversation. We can make that Better motherfucking fun. Facts. Better than nothing. When you're with the right person, when you with somebody that got an open mind and you with the right person, you can literally make being in nature and just walking around trees and just going somewhere beautiful. You can make that fun as hell. Depending on her energy that she brings, yeah, and if she's able to hold a conversation, y'all can really have a good time. But females don't think like that. They they just want to fucking be liabilities. Want you to spend all this goddamn money on the first day, buy make this sense. expensive food, knowing you can't afford it. Don't make sense, bro. You're not I'm not you're with it. that, bro. That's unattractive. Oh. Una- that's unattractive. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond. That's just unattractive. That that makes me not even want to be around you, like. I, I, don't, I don't need that. You you just need somebody that actually that's gonna that will actually wants your attention or gonna actually give you attention. Not all the time, but you know what I'm saying. Like at least give you some attention that that you're really interested. You know what I mean? In your yeah. communication on point. You got you gotta have have no types of females and shit like that, man. You can't have no female that's gonna be nagging you and and do all that. That's a turn off. I'm once I see that, I'm automatically walking, bro. I'm walking away, bro. I'm not my time with that shit. No, 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 I don't have, I don't have me personally. I don't got the, I don't got the patience for that, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I just like simple stuff, bro. And like, like I said, it all goes back to what we were talking about earlier with the average and the way yeah. I think, bro. Is just, I think so much different than the, the normal people in this generation, bro. I just think different. Like stuff that I think is fun ain't fun to other people. You know, facts. Bro, I'm the same way though. Like I'm, I'm a little cheap too as well. Like, like I said, if I was going on a date with a girl, bro, and I have my own crib. Nigga, be gonna cook together and have fun and cook. Right. We gonna go, we gonna get some whatever. Go to the store, go somewhere, get something you want to eat. Yo, what you want to eat, girl? Now I'm saying, what you want to eat, baby? Now I'm saying, what you want to eat? You gonna cook, you gonna cook together. Now I'm saying, right. we gonna get a recipe book or something, cook something good up. And then you know, you know, get out a little flower, a little candles. Yo, make it fun. Right. Classic. Classic. You know, no, back in the day, they used to do that back in the day. Yeah, back <laughs> I mean, then, yeah, but back was, then it was different though. Like, you know, a woman was like, different. It was like a prize to have a woman back then. Now there is, bro. They be fucking tripping, man. That that should be oh <laughs> should be a motherfucker. Give you you gotta know how to pick one, bro. Like honestly, you just gotta know how to pick one and just be careful. To be honest, Fact. you don't want to pick nobody energy. that ain't like, you know. It's all about energy. Yep. Yeah. You gotta connect. You gotta be on the same level at least of thinking. Right. You can't be on old. Absolutely. I don't want them random. <laughs> Shoot, man. Um, do you do you think humans really have souls or it's an illusion made up by humanity? No, nah, yeah, we got souls. It's proven. Really? Science? Yeah, they actually had a documentary out not too long ago. Um what they did was uh they weighed dead bodies, I guess, 
Like they sat there and I guess they waited for a person to die and then they weighed the body after the person passed. And they're like, uh, like they, they, they're, they're lower than what they was. Like basically proving that humans got souls and it, it actually weighs some shit, I guess. <laughs> I also heard Mike Tyson talk about it on a podcast. Mm. Interesting. I wonder where the souls go, really. I said, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, when it's time for us to go six feet deep, <laughs> when, we, when we all die and we get old, a few years down the road, would you want to be cremated, cremated or like Buried type shit, like coffin type shit. Oh uh, shit! I, sh- I, shit! I mean, I wouldn't give a fuck to be honest. <laughs> Facts. I'm gonna be real. Like once Facts. my time up, my time up, nigga. Like fuck all that. Do ah. do whatever y'all. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you know, do whatever y'all niggas need to do financially. You Facts. Facts. Now you know. God forbid. You know, of God allowing me to stay here long enough to prep my own funeral, then I'm gonna prep my own funeral and do it, you know, in a way that I will want. But sometimes, like, don't work like that. Sometimes, you know, shit just happened and your family got to pick up the pieces. So, whatever <laughs> they money looking like, do what the fuck y'all need to do. I mean, shit. I'm shit. I'm dead now. What the fuck? <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. Real talk, real talk, boy. Facts, man. I don't really give a fuck. Hey, look, me. check this out. Somebody said, I have yep. a crush on this girl. I'm a freshman. She's a junior. I'm a freshman. She's a junior. Okay. I'm nervous to talk to her because I'm scared she'd think I'm too young. Any advice? Nigga, if you don't go up to that girl and talk to her and tell her how you feel, it don't you matter if you're too young. If you if you got confidence and you that nigga, then you can get it no matter how old you is and what grade you in. I didn't talk to girls that was older than me and bigger grades than me. I ain't getting no fuck. <laughs> at least you try, nigga. It's the confidence, bro. You can't be a bitch at the end of the day. You got to go out there and go get it. If you like it, go get it. Facts. You only, hey, you, you, hey, you take the chance. You only got one life. If you life, like nigga. it, go get it. Yeah, that's, that's what it's about. When I was a freshman, nigga, I was at all the 12th graders. I'm at all of y'all. I wasn't, I ain't had no pigs. I ain't living myself to nothing, nigga. I'm hollering at all y'all. Facts. But for me, when I was a freshman, I looked like I was in the 12th grade. So I was capping like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was, and it was working too, because I, I looked like I was older than what I was. So it okay. worked in my favor. <laughs> you can't be scared. You only got one life. Take chances, bro. You got one life, bro. Dude, if you like a girl, just, man, you talk to her, bro. You talk to her. Make sure she got a good attitude. If you, if the energy ain't right, nigga, in time for you a backpedal, nigga. If you find energy, something ain't right about the female, backpedal. That ass, bro. Yeah. What's your favorite season? Uh... I like fall and and yeah, I really like fall just because I like to wear like like all my coats and shit like that. <laughs> nice. But I really can't wait for the summer to come up, man. Summer, 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 and get that get that body right. Nah, That's real it. talk. Get, get in that gym. Real talk. <laughs> all right, I know some people have these things where they say they feel like we are living in a simulation. What do you think about that? Um, I would say so. I feel like it's it's it's, it's a lot of weird shit. I feel like we in a simulation. A lot of this shit just don't be making no sense to me. Facts, cause like we all have the same events. Over and over again, pandemics, pandemics always been around. War has always been around, and it just keeps going on, and on and on. Right. Daily. Pointless wars too, as well. Like fuck, fuck, we fighting for. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what are you fighting for? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Plus, we killing innocent people too. What, what, what do, you, what do you do to you? <laughs> Nothing. Like, yo, yo, this war is wild. 
Shit, man. Damn. Um, yeah, I think he, this shit. He said, thanks, thanks, bro. Also, J Rock, I know you're a boxing fan. Who do you think will win between Shakur and Tank? Man, Tank, what the fuck? Bro, Tank gonna watch who, whatever, who, who we face. Listen, facing. man, I'm a big fan. Like, I'm not a big fan of Shakur. I'm a big fan of Tank. I watched a lot of Shakur, and I feel like this is just my personal opinion. I think Shakur is just like, um, he a right, but I don't think he's <laughs> I don't think he good as what people be making him saying, bro. He ain't fight nobody to prove to me that he's on that level where Tank is at. I'm going to just say that. He a good fighter, but he just, I feel like he's a lot of, he got a lot of hype, but he ain't really on a level like Devin Haney and Javante Davis and all the top guys. That's what I think. Yeah, boy, Tank ain't no joke. I'm but not. also, Tank ain't really fighting nobody either. Like that's that's my one of my favorite fighters of this generation. But he ain't really fighting nobody. Like Devin Haney's fighting all the good guys. He he's fighting all the good guys. Like he got a lot of hate, but he the only he's like one of the only people that's really out here taking risks and fighting. Facts. Everybody else is acting like they scary. Yeah, <laughs> facts. No niggas, no niggas backpedaling. No, no niggas backpedaling. It. They dig it back pedal. <laughs> oh, for real. Yeah, I nigga taking on Joe. Fight, like, you gotta fight the best. That's how you're gonna get good. Fact, I train, training, go hard. Train our body. Right. Well, I seen some of his fights too. I watched some documentary. Nigga be fighting nigga, knocking niggas out. Bow, bow. Left, right, hook. Faded. Sleep. Night night, nigga. Word. Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Any ghost That's stories? A... Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe in them. I feel like there's some spirits roaming around here. Oh, definitely, bro. I mean, there's only so much you can see with the human eye, you know? So there's so many things that's wandering around us that we don't even know about because, like, the human eye can't see them. So I believe that. Hmm. If you be, I used to watch like ghost shows and people would tell their stories and shit, and like how they seen ghosts and then da da da. da. I'm like, damn. I mean, I sleep at night. <laughs> I was a little kid. I'd be shivering. Damn. Uh, what else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Do you have any like Halloween stories? Uh. Halloween stories. Man, I used to take people's candy. <laughs> the whole bucket? Yeah, I used to go to the, you know how you can go up to the person that's like giving out the candy. And mm -hmm. when they ain't looking, you just snatch all the candy out of the goddamn bucket <laughs> and run off. Yo. Yeah, or it used to be times when we used to go to the rich people neighborhoods and shit. Because they used to have the candy sitting out without them being outside. Like you can't right. do shit like that in the hood. Like in the hood, they'd be outside waiting. Like they'd be like giving you the, candy. <laughs> the rich neighborhood, they had just leave a bucket out and just like trust you to just grab one. We used to take the whole thing, fuck out of here. We take it all this shit. Facts. Take Pour candy. in the bag. And then they used to have the big chocolate bars. We was fucking with the big shit. So, yeah, we yeah. ain't rocking with no little small ass pieces of candy. What you say? I said we ain't rocking with no small ass pieces of candy, nigga. Yeah, it, it was it was it was a time we used to we used to take advantage of them folk. They used to have all this stuff. Facts. Yeah, dudes, you gotta do. Do you have any Christmas stories? What's like the um, gifts gift you ever got? Man, I got some. I used to get dope stuff when I was a kid. I used to get like. I was always in just electronics most of the time, though, just like video games and stuff. Um, yeah, my my Christmas was like really typical. Like I used to get a lot of good stuff. Nice, nice. Have you been to like any Christmas parties as a kid? Yeah, no, no, nope. What about Halloween parties? <laughs> no, nah, I never been to a party at all. Damn, nigga. Yeah. Damn. I know, but I ain't never been to no party, no kickback, no no hotel party, none of that. 
Would you ever go to a concert? Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Probably, honestly, if I went to a concert, it'll have to be like, like somebody I genuinely like, like outside of just music too, though. But I don't see myself going to no concert. I'm not really like a people's person. Like I don't like doing like large crowds and I don't like being around a lot of people. I feel you. I'm 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 saying here because I feel like being in a concert, concert in general, I feel like that's the most dangerous thing you can even do, honestly. Cause there's so many people there and you don't know what's really finna go down type shit. Cause like I'm the same way too. I'm not really a people, a people person as well. So yeah. I gotta where you're coming from. I don't like kicking in with people or being around too many people. It's not good. It's not good. Um, it's not good. You don't know what niggas' attentions are or nothing. Nah, for real. Um, what are your thoughts on like undercover street cops, gangs, uh, KKK members? Or like secret society, secret uh like society niggas. Shit. I don't even know what to say to that shit. So we're gonna start with the what was the first couple? Um <laughs> first we we'll like the street cops, like undercover street cops, street aka street cops, aka like gangs that are part of gangs, like street cops that are like part of gangs and shit. Where the like, fuck they got shit like that at? They got that type of stuff where you at? They got that shit in. I heard why why from her. You talking about like 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 uh, they they like cops, but they act like street niggas. Nah, but they part they part of the shit, the street shit. Cause I know in New York, and in, in New York City, they got like street cops, like gangs. They part of gangs, but they but they but they dress up as cops, but they really. Oh, like in the gang, like like dirty cops. Yeah, dirty cops, but it's really in the gang, like a gang gang. Hell no, nah, yeah, we don't got that type of shit out here where I'm at. Fuck that shit, hell no. Nah. My 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 town is so small, bro. We don't deal with certain shit like that. <laughs> That's good though. You gotta focus. Like your shit blurry and shit. Hell um, yeah. Let me turn this shit up. What about like KKK members? How you feel about that shit? KKK members. Yeah, yeah. Cause some bro, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure there are some KK members might be part of the fucking part of the part of cops. They might they might be oh. undercover. I hey hey can be possible. I'm pretty sure they got some oh, undercover oh. cops that are part of the KKK and they running that shit. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I don't bangs with that. <laughs> I don't bang with. I don't bangs with racism. Shit is crazy. I don't bangs with it. I don't rock with it either. Nah, but there are some organizations out there, bro. I'm pretty sure. The no, I, believe it. I, I believe it. It's a lot of weird shit out here. Part of Illuminati, even doing all type of hand gestures and shit. Like yeah, these niggas on some weird shit. <laughs> You, you gotta watch where you go, like for real, like for real. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, damn, shoot, man. Um, I be all the way 100 and be all the way real. This is for the streets, this, this is for the for, 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 for the community. We want to know. Would you do 25 years for three million dollars for your homie? 25 years for what? 25 years for three million dollars for your homie. What the fuck? Nah. Hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what type of stupid ass question is that? Hell no. Nah. The fuck? That ain't even worth it. Three million dollars for 25 years? Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be a stupid ass to take that money. <laughs> The fuck? You smart though, cause a lot of old niggas they will actually accept that shit. I'm not gonna lie, they will actually accept that. They would, they will actually do it. Especially old niggas, dumb as hell. Anybody accepting <laughs> that shit, retarded. Facts. Fuck that. It ain't worth it. Facts. Real talk. Facts, bro. 
Nah, cause niggas really would do that shit. I'm like, yo, what is wrong with niggas? You really do that? Cause like, bro, we gotta think about it. We got so many people in, in, in that joint, bro. You gotta watch your back console. You paranoid. Like, who wants to deal with that? Nah, for real. It's just niggas, wild in there. That's, be why, going, that's, that's why you don't go to jail. Nigga, nigga be glorifying that jail shit. Like, like that shit cute. Nigga, that shit ain't cute, nigga. That's why, well, you that's why you don't go to jail, man. Especially if you a nigga that like pussy and freedom. Don't, don't go to jail. Facts. Facts. Ain't nothing up in there for nobody. Only that's up in there for you is them nice and getting stuck up and getting disrespected. You, you don't want that. Who want to be around a bunch of dudes any goddamn way? Facts. Facts, like. That's that's uncomfortable too, bro. Nah, that's that's just that. You gotta shower with niggas. You gotta oh, use a bathroom for the niggas. That's that booth. Ain't nobody trying to do that. Like <laughs> ain't nobody trying to do that. Yeah, I like I like freedom and shit. Jail is stupid. You fucking up your record. You gonna come home. You ain't gonna be able to get a job. I ain't gonna do that shit, bro. Facts. It's gonna be even ten times harder if you even like make a living for yourself too as well. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand niggas how niggas just glorify this shit. I, I don't get it. And like these, these cops and the the people that run this shit and the in the corruption in these um in the, the departments and, and different you know different you know different states and you know Florida and all these different prisons. These niggas making bands off you niggas like. You know, these niggas making thousands. Not, not, I, mean, I, I wouldn't even say thousands. Probably way more than that off the prisoners, bro. Yeah. They make money off you niggas. Y'all ain't niggas getting a penny just from working. Y'all getting, getting, getting crumbs, bro. And who wants to live like that? I, I dance shit wouldn't live like that. Yeah, that shit wild. Facts. Not not everybody is, is, is built for prison. I'm sorry. Am I not built for that shit? And I want to be around that shit. That's why the people that ain't built for it need to stay in their fucking lane. Facts. Yeah, or you gonna go there. Like, stay in your lane so you don't gotta go there. Don't be no follower. Just, if you know you're not like that, just fucking work a job, bro. Facts. Go to work. Stay out of the streets. Don't do nothing that's stupid. Facts. Black and blue, I watched that shit already. But, um... Yeah, I I got a uh, I got a twin brother, you know he on that street shit. So I ain't fucking with you. Word, nigga. I said, yo, this nigga trying. I said, yo, this nigga told me I'm on a street dude. This da, 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 you stay in the house. I'm like yeah, nigga, I stay in the house. You wanna be in street, nigga? You I stay in the house. Yeah. Hey, we got to we got to argument and shit. So I'm like, nigga. I said, you don't know. I said, nigga, you don't know if you want to be a gangster or a father, nigga. Choose one, nigga. Pick one, nigga. Yeah. Shit, staying in the house keep you out of some shit sometimes. I love staying in the house anyway. But I do like going out in nature as well, riding my damn bike. <laughs> uh, yeah. Niggas, niggas want to be street dudes. Fuck being a street dude, nigga. Be a working nigga. But also working your dreams, too. Multitask that shit. Tell me, it's tweaking. Oh, yeah. But um, what are what are ten things that you can't live without? Daily. Shit. Family. The gym. Healthy food. Water. Yep. Uh, what else? Um. A camera, my studio, uh, my video game. <laughs> what else? Facts. What else? I can books. What else? What else? Shit. Shit. Sure, that's like the main things. There's a few others. Shit, my bed. <laughs> uh, it's just nice clothes. I like clothes and shit. I like I like being fly and all that. But I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say tees, black tees. I need my black tees. Black tees. 
So yeah, you can say clothes. Those are the ten things I can't live without. Those are like my my necessities, like that keeps me right. Facts, facts. Those are good, valuable in teams too, though. Valuable in teams. Those are actual benefits, beneficial. Facts. Um. Damn, like damn. You got any, uh, got any questions for me? Uh, what's some questions I got for you? Do you be in the gym for real, for real, or you just be playing around with them weights? Nah, I be working out, bro. I be. Do you be actually crazy. getting up in there, like really, like pushing and going hard? I, I, stay, I don't. I don't go to the gym though. I stay home. Ah, you can you can push hard in the house. You ain't gotta go to the gym. Yeah, I be I be going crazy though. Like how yes, many reps you be doing? Like this morning, I don't even count. I just be working out. I, ah, I don't even count. see what I'm saying. You I don't gotta, count. You gotta get up in there. See, you gotta see. You ain't even got a plan for your workout. You just be getting up. In nah, there. I got. A, nah, I got a list. No, no bullshit. Do a hundred <laughs> reps a day. Nothing more. Nothing less. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> Doing my twenties though. So you Look, just do you do twenty of these? I don't know. You see, I don't know if you see my uh my screen. You see my screen? Let me see. Hold on. I'm fucking with that. Three sets of of hammer curls, thirty five. Yeah, that's decent. How okay. much? What's the, what's the weight of your your weights? How much weight is that? Um, I think my my body. I think my other shit's like. I think I think my regular weight's like fifteen pounds. I think. Mm-hmm. Either fifteen, I think, I think it's fifteen, because I think this the sticker came. I think it's fifteen. My other, my other dumbbell I got, it's like twenty, it's a twenty times, it's a twenty pound dumbbell. So like I be, I be lifting that every now and then. I might use that. I might do this type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I, I either, I even use my body weight too. Yeah, yeah, that's a good like, way to start. Oh, you keep yeah, doing these some other shit up in there though. Like do some, do like uh. Implement some push-ups in there. People be sleeping on push-ups. Do a hundred push, a hundred push-ups a day. Yo, that shit will build your chest, nigga. Oh, I be doing yeah. shit. A hundred push-ups a good. day, but slow and steady push-ups, like a hundred push-ups with a nice form, and do 50, 50 wide and do fifty diamond, and do that every fucking day, every day, and then do the dumbbells every fucking day. And then do some setups every fucking day. And then that's what I'm lacking on too. Is when I'm lacking on probably just probably here. I mostly work my my upper body. I work on my shoulders. All here. Yeah, upper body. Legs. I didn't do. I didn't get down to like. I'm upper body. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of lower body workouts, but I've been doing them just so I can even out my shape. Facts. Like I'm wanna... doing like um like I do legs a lot now and shit. Like yeah, today I, I want a treadmill though. Like right now, I'm trying to really, like, I'm kind of like on a mini cut to be really honest. Not too much of a cut, but just kind of like you know, lowering my body fat percentage. Facts. No, can I be you? You ever do um, calf raises? Calf raises. Calf raises, like the calf. Yeah, like, I, I've done that a, a couple times at the gym. Don't shit burn. Yeah, they definitely do. I said, be like, yo, that shit was sore for like what, two, three days, maybe two, three days. My shit was sore as hell. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta. Like, um, I feel good though. I feel good. After after you work, you feel good. You feel more like energetic a little bit too. Yeah, so like, I didn't got to a point now where I need the gym, dog. Like that shit is that. It got to a point where like. I need the gym. Like that's like my goal. Like to hit the like, gym. Like I'm excited to hit the gym tomorrow. I'm finna give me some good rest, and then I'm finna hit the fucking gym again. And I'm I'm excited for it. Shit, that's what it is. Like that's really how you build better habits. Like the first month or two is gonna be like you forcing yourself to do it, but then like it's this thing that happens to your brain where. If you do something for like 30 days, like 25 to 30 days, you get attached to that shit. It's yeah, it starts to become a part of your daily norm. Day. Yeah. Just like it's like it's also like if you can become this why I be telling people too, like 
if you can if you can become obsessed with this, if you can become obsessed obsessed with social media, if you could become obsessed with watching movies and shit, you could do the same thing for working out. I would just take I would just take time because it's something new. And your brain hasn't even attached itself to like, yeah, this 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 is you gotta get you gotta keep doing that shit. And that's and, and then like what people don't be realizing in the midst of that, right? Is that's building mental strength, like pushing past that barrier that you normally wouldn't p- push past. That's what's gonna build the mental strength. That's what builds discipline. You know, like for example, if you're a person out there that's overweight, and you know you never been to the gym ever, that first week gonna be hell. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> Facts. You're not Facts. gonna like it. It's gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna be like, you're not gonna be able to do much because you're not used to it. That's because your brain have developed the same thing over and over. Now you got all these badass habits. So now when you're doing something that's out of the norm of your habit, it ain't gonna feel right. But if you but, do that shit for 25, 30 days, you're gonna lose weight and you're gonna be addicted to the gym and you're gonna see the benefits that you're getting from the gym. And that's gonna give you that long-term gratification. See, when you do something long enough and you start getting the results. The, the gratification that you get from it is way better than instant gratification. Like when you earn something, it feels so much better. Like it feels so much better. Facts, and you you feel you feel more proud of yourself too as well. Yeah, you feel more proud of yourself. But you supposed to start off like that, and you supposed to start off. Let's say that's how your body starts off. Period. Yeah, you got like when you start your better. body, because your body's not used to you like picking up anything heavy. You know what I'm saying? So once you start working out, it's well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be in pain. So that's part of the beginning journey. Everybody think, yeah, I'm I'm gonna do such, I'm gonna do 25. No, 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 nigga, your body gonna tell you gonna do like maybe 10. You're not you're not gonna be able to take it until your right. body immune to you know you do that shit every day. Do that shit, yo, I'm telling you right now. Do that shit every day, every single day. Watch what will happen. You, you're gonna be killing new mutants. You're gonna start. You start getting up to different numbers, bro. It's all. It's all. It's all a process, bro. It's all yeah. it is. That's all it is. Don't stop for nobody either, at all. Don't stop for nobody. Absolutely nobody. Hell yeah. Shit. Maybe elevators be looking crazy. I, hey, I, when is when this one about to come out? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go piss in the elevators. Yeah, you hear me? Ass. What up? What when this one about to come out? When she gonna drop too? I got I got uh I got a lot of shit scheduled. I got I got I got that clip got cut. No, that I got cut everything. And by the way, I've been I've been tapping into your video. I've been I've been I just been screenshotting you. I just been screenshotting like little. No, I'm gonna send some more. I got some, I got some new ones. Oh, best, your list, your list, your list, your list. Yeah, yeah, I got other shit. I got added all this. I got cut and what I, you know, you, 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 you know, I got to do. You know, you know what I do, Jay? Yeah. You know what I do? Real tone. You know, you don't be shit, man. Damn. 6,000 steps. Damn. I mean, walking like a motherfucker. So one day, bro, man, I walk like hell. Six thousand steps, five thousand steps. Yeah, that cardio will get you. Oh yeah, as be walking, I don't want to be running. I gotta start running again too. I want to start riding my bike. My bike must up right now. I, gotta, I, I, I love riding my bike, bro. When the first time I ride my bike, my legs were sore as hell. Straight, just pain. When I say pain. I haven't rode a bike in so long, dude. Nope. Prepare to feel the pain, J Rock. That shit go hurt up to your thighs, all the way down to your legs, bro. That shit going damn. That's that's gonna hurt bad. But it depends how long you ride the bike to as well. We still gonna get that pain regardless. That shit going it was just it was just sharp pain, bro. Sharp pain it was just sharp pain. Up to like down, bro. No bullshit. Hey, yo, real talk. 
What you finna yeah. get into now, though, man? What I'm about to get into. Yeah, you know? but, but time you be, you be staying up, huh? You like yeah, all be, night. Man. For the most talk, I be, I be having a hard time sleeping, so I be if I'm up, I'm gonna end up. I'm just gonna be up probably yeah, editing. Yeah, I start popping um, motherfucking melatonins, boy. The melatonins get you right. Sleep slumped. Yeah, yeah. You take one of those, psh, you be out. It's over. <laughs> with. I got, I got to get one. I got to look up some pills or some, some. Yeah. I be, up, I just be editing, making thumbnails on board or something. Do I might work out some pushes or something till I get tired. Right. That shit. That's what I be doing though. I'm gonna start making beats again too. That's nothing that I'm kind of falling off on this beats. Yeah, uh, you gotta send me a couple if you do. Yo, it's on my um it's on my uh it's on my channel. You can tap in. I got a whole playlist, I got a mad playlist. And we gotta do go on my shit, you see a playlist and everything. Make decent beats, they ain't the best, they're decent. I use Garage Band for my shit. Ha! Now nah, I remember I used to use Garage Band when I first started, but I I used to um I don't know how to make beats, but I was using it for like uh like making music and shit. It hit me around like eleven a.m. Maybe. Speaking of calf rate raises, months more than all that. Oh shit. I'm probably gonna take my ass to the fucking bed. I ain't even gonna lie to you, my bro. You, you gotta do, bro. I might end it right now anyway. Hell yeah, I'm gonna send you those pictures though. If I don't send them to you, text me on Instagram and remind me because I'll be forgetting like a motherfucker. I'll be having so much shit going on. I but I'm gonna send them to you first thing in the morning when I get up. All right, I gotta come in here and edit myself. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me on here, man. No problem. All right, buddy. Get some rest, bro. Y'all just motherfucker.